welcome you to the stand share of center, the Hawaiian Cell FCU starting lineup scrolling at the bottom of your screen. Hawaii and UCLA, the next chapter. The Bruins coming in number one in the country, still unblemished here in this 2016 campaign. 10-0, their best start since the 1998 season where the Bruins started 16-0. And oh, Hawaii serving first to get things started, and oh, what a start, courtesy Jake Arnitz, a 6'7 sophomore from Yorba Linda, California, getting things going for UCLA in a demonstrative way. The reigning MPSF Player of the Week, he had a monster week last week, 21 kills against CSUN, his career high. This is a UCLA team that will run a system you won't see from anybody else, is the serve by Stahl, two-handed by Siki Zarkovic, and then the block was up on Stein von Tilburg on the outside, and just like that, it's 2-0 in favor of the number one team in the land. That, that pass a little bit off the net, Hawaii not able to run their system. Three blockers up, even the great Stein couldn't get over that block. Kanoa Leahy along with Chris McLaughlin here courtside. And a long breath from Mitch Stahl before he sends that one into the twine, and Hawaii now off the schneid. Mitch Stahl, John Spraw tells me, he's having an all-American year. Kills per set, they're up. He's acing, transitioning great. What about the all-American year being put together by Siki Zarkovic? A good serve and a great set by Micah Ma'a to the other setter on the floor, Hagen Smith, a six-foot junior from Pacific Palisades, California. So the Punahou alum putting it on the money for his fellow setter, and this is the perfect example of the unique system run by the Bruins. The smallest hitter on the floor, but oh, what a volleyball IQ, but volleyball DNA, his father, an all-time great in beach volleyball and a Bruin NC2A champ when he played at UCLA. Yeah, Hagen Smith, his father, Sinjin, one of the greats, part of the UCLA Hall of Fame. Hendrick Mole back to serve for Hawaii. But you saw it there, the 6-2 system, both setters staying on the floor, rotating into the front as hitters. And there's Smith going opposite side to Arnitz. It's dug up. Now Von Tilburg, hard angle and in. And a little emotion from the Dutch freshman. Stein not happy with his performance last week against San Diego. He, he dropped a couple levels, and he wants to ramp it up and play at a high level here against the best team in the country. Yeah, he had recorded double-digit kills in the first seven matches, then went for five and six respectively in the two lopsided wins over UCSD as Mole sends it long. But Charlie Wade characterizing Von Tilburg's lack of production as more of a letting off of the gas pedal, not necessarily a step back. Exactly. He had a good week of practice, and he's ready to go tonight. Here is Arnitz with the jump serve. Pass by Zarkovic. Jennings Franciscovic goes outside. Kupono Faye's soft touch is dug up. Chance now for Hawaii as it finds its way back to its side. Faye a little harder that time. First touch by Gillette, second touch by Arnitz, and a free ball coming for Hawaii. Franciscovic goes backside. Von Tilber with no blockers up. I'll tell you what, that was a brilliant transition play by Hawaii. UCLA thought the ball was going to be set in the middle, so they committed on the middle attacker, which gave no blocker on the right side. Van Tilburg just unloaded. 6'8 freshman from the Netherlands with the serve. Pass tight to the net. Diving save by Zarkovic, but to no avail. It will go down as a kill for Michael Fisher, another Hawaii guy on this UCLA roster. 6'5", junior out of Kailua, a graduate of Hawaii Baptist Academy. He had a great career there, two oh times state champions there, playing for Tione Obrey, a great coach, two times MVP of the state tournament. Here's Faye, and that time, the Hawaii local boy out of Punahou got blocked by the UCLA local boy out of Punahou. <laughs> Mitch Stahl, I think, got most of that. He averages 1.3 blocks per set, leaves the Bruins in blocks. There's the pass by Zarkovic. Franciscovic goes middle to Ian McKellar, and the lefty sends it long. He wanted a touch, no call. The officiating crew, Ray Mink, is up the ladder, Ernie Ho down on the floor, Ryan Scudder and Burt Kasem. The two line judges. 
3-0 run here for UCLA, accounting for this three-point advantage. The serve by Oliver Martin, and it is a killer. Tickles the tape and plops down for an ace, and UCLA has Hawaii doubled up here in the first. Oliver Martin has a bit of a connection with the Hawaii team. He played on the same club team as Jennings Franciscovich. Line drive serve, two-handed by Faye. Back row set to Zarkovich, played off the net. Second touch, Ma'a, and Smith is rejected. Three blockers up for Hawaii. Jennings Franciscovich, the setter for the Rainbow Warriors, 6'5", junior from Westlake Village, California, getting the gist of it. Well, Jennings can get up. We all know he can touch 12 feet, and when he blocks, he goes up high with the tall middle blockers. Franciscovich entering this week, tops in the MPSF in assists per set. Here's Kupono Faye with the jump serve. Delayed back row set to Arnitz. And Hawaii says, ah, ole, Ian McKellar spreading the wings. This is the back row quick call up the Bick. And Hawaii was ready for it. McKellar, very disciplined there, stayed patient on his block, did not commit with the middle attacker. So six serve and eight. The crowd on hand here at the Stan Sheriff Center clapping to the beat. But Faye missing the court wide for the service error. UCLA up three. And it will be Mike Ma'a tracing back to serve. The son of Pono and Lisa Strand Ma'a. Of course, Lisa, our colleague here at OC Sports. That one tickles the tape. Faye falling back to his wallet with the pass. Set goes outside to Zarkovich. That had some heat on it. But a good dig by Gillette. Now Fisher on the outside, and it finds its way down. Ooh, that second contact, I'm not sure about that second contact. Looks like it was a double hit. Looks like Ray Mink is going to be calling it very loosely tonight. That was the standard right there. Loose calls on the second touch. It's like a strike zone for a home plate umpire. Exactly. Ma oh, that one had some pepper on it. Forces an overpass. Set goes middle to Mitch Stahl, and he hammers it down. Mitch Stahl. The ABCA National and MPSF Player of the Week back on January 11th. And a timeout signal by Charlie Wade. His Rainbow Warriors trailing by a handful. Welcome back. Time now for the keys to the match presented by Kaiser Permanente. UCLA will poise be the key. This is a young team with no seniors. Will the stand share of crowd affect them? And for Hawaii, beware of the serve. Micah Ma serves at 70 miles an hour. That last one was at 69 miles an hour. And the team has 70 aces on the year. Maybe the best serving team in the country. Pass by Faye. Outside it goes to Seek. He had to touch it over. Saved by Ma. Smith goes backside to stall. That's dug up back over the net by Von Tilbrook. Bruins in control. They go outside. Fisher off the block. Stall keeps it alive. Stahl quickly resets for the swing, but that's dug up. Now Zarkovich blocked and roofed by a very active Mitch Stahl on that sequence. Well, he was everywhere. He the quick, going out quickly, getting that block, closing the seam, taking away the cross court. Great play by Stahl. And Micah Ma again served that last one at 72 miles an hour. Yeah, we got the gun on here for the MPHs. That one misses just long. That one was at 72 as well. Yeah. Not many people can serve at 70, I'll tell you that, even in practice. Very few people. He's got a gun of an arm, doesn't he? No, oh, he is the real deal. There's no doubt about it. That out serve, though, ending a 4-0 UCLA run. Here's the serve by the southpaw, Ian McKellar. Pass Gillette. Back set goes to Smith. Missed wide, no touch, as the Hawaii block was somewhat fooled, but it's a point for the Rainbow Warriors. I think it was Michael Fisher that missed that one down the line. Just barely missed. Had a pretty wide open court there. So eight serving 12. McKellar into the net. It goes. Hawaii averaging 1.3 aces per set as a team. As you mentioned, UCLA up in that number. They're 2.03 as a squad. A good look there at Charlie Wade. The sling is gone after he suffered the broken wrist a couple weeks back. The cast is there, however, but the very appropriate green-colored wrapping. And an ace is delivered by Michael Fisher. Yeah, so he had the out ball on the hit, the hitting error, but able to unleash a little fury that time, putting UCLA back up six. 
Fisher, another one who can bring it with the serve. That one registering at 64 miles per hour into the twine. So Hawaii trailing by five. This UCLA team really relies on the serve to get themselves going. 78 aces on the year. There's Franciscovich, the jump serve, and that one sails long. Now that is an area that John Sproul says Hawaii has had the advantage in the last few meetings. They've served tough and UCLA has struggled, vice versa here tonight. OC Sports, presented on Oceanic Time Order Cable, is sponsored by Bank of Hawaii. Kaiser Permanente. And Strong. Welcome back. It's a 15-9 lead for UCLA in this opening set. Number one UCLA taking on fifth-ranked Hawaii. Bruins hitting 154 through this opening stanza. Hawaii at negative 182, Chris. And even worse, Hawaii siding out at a 42% clip. If you're to win the NPSF, you better side out at 70 or better. Pass by Kanetake. High outside set goes to Von Tilburg, and he's able to beat a triple block that was proposed against him. You know, Stein could have easily tried to hit that ball hard and down, but he didn't. He saw the three-man block, so he chose to go over the block, get a high touch, and got the easy kill. Coming into the week, fourth in the MPSF and 10th nationally in kills per set. Here's Smith from the opposite side. That one got through the block and then got through the fingertips of Kobe Kanitake. Megan Smith, who is the floor captain out of Loyola High School for UCLA. Third, genu third generation Bruin, his grandfather James got his PhD from UCLA, father Sinjin, as we mentioned, all-American setter for Al Skates, and he's had a wealth of aunties and uncles and cousins who have all attended UCLA. People often ask why he was named Hagen. Well, he was named after Ron Von Hagen, the legendary beach player who was often Sinjin Smith's beach partner. Middle set that goes to Martin, dug up, and then punched over on the second touch by McKellar, putting it down with ease. Oliver Martin, who is the tallest player on the floor at six foot ten inches, a shade under 200 pounds, redshirt sophomore. He's played three different positions in his time at UCLA. Came in as an outside hitter, then went to opposite, and now he's settling in at that middle hitter spot. 17 serving 11, and Hawaii will dig that. Jake Arnett sending it into the net. So a freebie there for the Rainbow Warriors. They're in need of a spark here in this opening set. What are you seeing out of Hawaii here so far tonight, Chris? Right now, they seem a little jittery. I thought UCLA might be more jittery, but instead it's, uh, it's Hawaii that's looking like a little bit nervous. Great play by Kanataki. What a dig. Beautifully done, and then Faye hits it into the net. Yeah, Hawaii appears to be the team trying to be a little more careful throughout exactly. this first set. Exactly. Now remember, Hawaii has played only two ranked opponents thus far. They went up against number eight, Lewis, and number 12, Pepperdine. Split those two matches with Pepperdine, defeated Lewis. Their first top five opponent of the year, Von Tilburg, is dug up by Smith. Smith will take a swing from the back row, and Hawaii was ready, waiting, and willing to turn it back. Bay alongside McKellar. Terrific dig by Hagen Smith there. Then he gets the ball right back from Pono, uh, from uh, Mike Ma'a. Sorry about that. Almost got Pono's name in there, his father. <laughs> I'm sure Pono doesn't mind. Here's an overpass. Siki with the free swing. And a timeout taken by John Spraw and UCLA as Hawaii starting to put a little momentum together. It's a four-point differential in the first. Take a look at the series record sponsored by Aston Hotels and Resorts. It is a lengthy series record, but it has been dominated by UCLA. However, Hawaii has won the last four meetings. Including the last two at Poly Pavilion. That's There's right. There's a rarity. Yeah, last year they were able to pull off the first 
series sweep at UCLA since 2003, and this four-match win streak against the Bruins is actually the second longest in the history of this series in favor of Hawaii. Let's send it over to Ryan Kalei Suji. Ryan. Hey, thanks, Kanoa. Well, head coach John Sparrow saying earlier before the match that the 6-2 offense is still a work in progress, and right now the coaching staff talking to their two setters, trying to fine-tune some of the things. In speaking with Coach Sparrow, he said it can be a blessing and a curse. The blessing, if one of the setters digs, they don't have to rely on a libero to set the second ball. They have another setter on the court and can run a transition game. Some of the curses, well, these setters have to do double duty they have to get just as many reps setting as they are passing right now the coaching staff trying to fine-tune again some of the 6-2 offense back to you guys thanks a lot Ryan Chris what do you make of it and the fact that you have such an established entity in head coach John Spraw willing to tinker with an offensive system like that well, he, he's famous for tinkering by the way he's uh, he was the first one to get a female sports psychologist to sit on his bench when he was at Irvine then he took her to the national team won the World Cup last year to qualify for the Olympics. So who's the question, John Spraw, and another experiment? He said they all that, seem to be working. He said earlier in his career, he was a little more dogmatic about his volleyball philosophy, his approach to coaching. But he said, then we would find ourselves losing some matches. And I thought, hey, maybe I should be a little more open-minded. And it has certainly paid off so far this season at UCLA. Yeah, he's really open to the creativity that's going on right now. As the serve by Capono Fay misses wide. Ironically, Capono went to a conservative serve there to keep the ball in after a timeout and just missed the corner. So here comes Micah Maha. We'll see if he puts some heat on it. And Maha is hitting the 70 mile per hour on the gun pretty consistently as Siki Zarkovic puts it down. Maha got up to just over 70 miles an hour there. Siki again facing three blockers, but finds a way to get the ball inside of the three blockers and into zone five. Here's McKellar, 6'7 junior out of England into the net. It goes. That is service error number six for Hawaii. That actually matches the amount of service errors from UCLA, but the Bruins also have a couple of service aces to show for their work behind the line. Here's Michael Fisher. Has stepped up as a leader this year, according to head coach John Sproff, for a team that is without a single senior. As Von Tilburg, I guess, foot touched the line. Yeah, he, he just barely touched the line. Called for Looks a like Charlie Wayne's going to call a timeout here and gather the troops. So UCLA, after their timeout, able to extend this lead out to six. 21-15, obviously a very dangerous juncture in this opening set for Hawaii. And, hey, look who we have here. The volunteer coach for oh UCLA. Where did he come from? One Spencer McLaughlin. <laughs> I'll tell you, he uh, had an opportunity to go play beach volleyball this last summer and ended up staying and living in, in uh, Hermosa Beach. And uh, next thing you know, he's uh, calling up John Spraw and saying, hey, I'd love to be a volunteer coach like I was at Hawaii last year. Maybe I can help you, and he got the job, and there he is. So the rest is history. He sure enjoyed his time here last year, though. Being uh, actually got a, he got motivated, he got pr promoted uh, assistant coach last year when Hawaii had their their big run of being number one in the country for five weeks in a row. I think he'd like to do the same thing. Actually, you already talked to him about having the golden touch, didn't you? Well, that's what I was saying was I asked John Sproul, what's the biggest difference between this year and last year? And he was talking about, well, you know, with the two setters, our first two contacts, those kinds of things. And I was waiting for him to just say, Spencer McLaughlin, everything he touches turns to gold, right? He played at Stanford, won a national title. He's on the bench with Hawaii last year. They go to their first NCAA tournament in 13 years. Here he is now with undefeated in top rank UCLA. <laughs> All right, let's uh, check in with our Jack Fact of for the night because one of the players who has absolutely been tearing it up here this season is streaking Siki, UH senior outside hitter Siki Zarkovich, averaging five kills per set, two digs per set, hitting 453 during Hawaii's current five-match win streak. And we'd be remiss if we didn't also mention that Hawaii is riding a 16-match home win streak, which is three off of the all-time record. Now it's, that's what you would call white hot. Seeking unbelievable the run he's, on, run he's on right now. But Hawaii overall has got to be concerned. They're still hitting negative here in the first set. 
Four kills, five errors. Here is Siki off the block right there to cover his Kanetake. This time they go backside out of the back row. It's Stein on Tilburg. The flying Dutchman coming in and hammering it off the high hands. So finally, Hawaii hitting 0-0-0 zero, zero, zero now. Jennings Franciscovich sends it out. Seventh service error for the Rainbow Warriors. So finding themselves down by a half dozen and partially because of some self-inflicted wounds. Mitch Stahl getting ready to serve it into play. The second most prolific acer. 12 aces on the season, took something off and then angled it wide of the floor. So these two teams rearing back and trying to go at it from the service line. We have seven service errors on each side of the net. Here's Zarkovich, goes deep corner, the pass by Gillette. Set high and outside, Arnitz off the block and down. How about that pass by Davis Gillette? He's become an incredible libero this year, two-time state champion. You know what? David, watch him pass this ball. Right on the money to, to uh, it looked like it was uh, Davis that time. I, I went right to um, Hagen Smith, but the deal is, Davis Gillette didn't even start in his high school team. But John Sproul saw something in him, and he has actually turned out to be better than he thought. Jackson Bantle in with the serve, and Kupono Fay is denied access by the tallest player on the floor, 6'10", Oliver Martin. And this is the largest lead of this opening set for UCLA. They are sitting on 24. It is Aloha Ball in the first. Jackson Bannell serving. He had 21 stars as a libero last year. Lost the libero job, and now he's becoming like a serving specialist because he's got a cannon of an arm. And this is that one into the twine, though. And Hawaii will have to put a huge string of points together here to try to salvage this opening set. Charlie Way brings in Joe Worsley, six-foot freshman from Moraga, California. Two service aces for him on the year. Pass by Gillette. Smith goes high and away to Ma'a. And Micah Ma'a going off the block and out for a UCLA point. And the Bruins making quite the statement here on this Friday evening. And yes, some of the Ma'a family looking on. UCLA 25-18 in the first. Big Island Candies, the perfect place to find the perfect gift. Visit them at their flagship store in Hilo at Ala Moana Center or online at BigIslandCandy.com to see their amazing selection, including delicious chocolate dip shortbreads. Welcome back to the Stan Sheriff Center. The blocking playing a role for UCLA as they were able to put together four and a half total team blocks in that opening set compared to three and a half for Hawaii, but they came obviously at key times helping to string along several point runs that led them to a 25-18 win in that opening stanza. The, the other thing that stood out for the Bruins, I thought, in the first set was the, the way they sided out. 15 of 19, they're siding out 78%. Like I said before, 70 is a good number you have to win. To, you have to have to, in order to win in the MPSF. Hawaii only sided out at 58%. They only converted on 14 out of 24 serves. That block, part of the reason Hawaii hitting negative 0-5-0. Oliver Martin at 6-10. He will be noticed no matter what, just because of his size, but uh, he was doing some things out there that really contributed to the Bruins' success. Yeah, he was instrumental in providing that big block up front. And he had that A serve as well. But overall, the Bruins, just a solid game. They touch a lot of balls in the block. They dig a lot of balls in the back. Digs right now actually are even six to six on both sides. There's a kind of Take fan club. Hawaii hitting negative 050 right now. Six kills, seven errors. They've got to clean that up and start hitting for a better percentage. 
It's Martin serving for UCLA to start set two. Siki Zarkovic able to tool the block. That's his third kill of the match. And Hawaii able to strike first here in the second. Jennings Franciscovich with the serve, tickles the take, passed by Gillette. Set goes outside to Fisher, that's off the block. Franciscovich goes outside to Zarkovich. Played off the block nicely by Arnitz, who gets the set from the back row, dug up by Franciscovich. So Kanetake bump set to Von Tilburg. Advantage now for the Bruins. Maa goes to Arnitz. And the thing about this particular system for UCLA is it is so versatile and so unpredictable. This is a great example of what they, how they do transition that is going from defense to offense. They do not have, they do not pass the, if the center in the back row digs the ball, they don't bump it up to a libero who bumps up a high ball to the outside. They bump it up to the other center who sets a quick play. How about that swing? by Siki Zarkovich. Siki, normally a great left side hitter, proves that he can hit in the right side as well. Siki busting out the Ginsu as we give this one the Fujitsu air conditioning cool play of the match. That was about as thin a slice as you'll see from the opposite side. And then the overpass put down by Hawaii. Hendrik Mull. Henrik Mull, quick to congratulate Siki Zarkovic on his serve, which forced the overpass. And Hawaii up 3-1. And a little bit of fuss and volume now being put together by the Stan Sheriff Center crowd. Zarkovic with the ace! John Spraw looking on. Fans busting out the ace towels. Zarkovic dealing the ace a 3-0 rainbow run. Remember John Sprott told us before the game that over the last couple years, Siki Zarkovic has given them fits on his serve. Maa goes middle to Stahl. And Stahl does just that. He stalls the Hawaii momentum as he slams that one down. Hawaii still up 4-2, but UCLA with the serve, and it's Michael Fisher, the HBA alum. Install number five in the country in hitting percentage at 481. That's a big number. And it's an ace. Right back at you, says Michael Fisher. Fisher, I believe, number three on the team in service aces. He's got eight coming into tonight's match, so give him nine now for the season. Diving pass over the net by Zarkovic. Free chance here for the Bruins. They go outside, and it's Arnett straight down to the Terraflex. John Spraw saying he has probably improved more than anyone else on this Bruins team. He made, uh, he had some awards last year. He's all MPSF freshman team and all that, but uh, he is light years better in, in passing and attack mechanics as Coach Brock. That one pumped long by Fisher. So Hawaii with the advantage after the service error. It's five serving four. When you look at the service numbers, though, Hawaii with seven service errors, one ace compared to nine errors for UCLA, but they have three aces to show for some of that effort. There's Hendrick Mole with the high toss. A lot of top spin on it. Pass Gillette, right side, it goes to Smith from off the net. And he caught it back, and it's another point for the Rainbow Warriors, who already look sharper in this second set than what we saw in the first. Yeah, they really do. I'm sure Charlie Wade's got to be happy. They've actually, they're now um, hitting almost 100 more kills than error. That's a good sign. But their serving, I don't think, has gotten much better. That's number eight in the service error department here in this match for Hawaii. And Mole will get some direction from head coach Charlie Wade. Here's Mitch Stahl to serve. Oh, he blasted that one. And it winds up an ace. Kanetake unable to control it. That one came smoking through. And hey, a couple of our friends from a few matches ago, it's, it's as if they never learned their lesson. I <laughs> They're back for more? 
Why would they come back for more? I mean, they are. And you talk about glutton for punishment. They are. Sitting front row, court side. It's very risky, especially when you're holding beverages. And that one came zooming past him again. Free chance now for UCLA. Ma goes high and away to Arnitz. Right in the middle of that Hawaii defense. Oh, UCLA vaults so ahead. At, they're so good in transition. You take a look at the Bruin fans up, up in the upper deck. Five kills now for Arnitz Chris on nine attempts. He's hitting 444. This is a guy who was once named the nation's top recruit in high school by Volleyball Magazine. On Tilburg into a triple block. It was wrestled off the net and then free balled over. Franciscovic goes backside to Stein. Saved off the block by Smith. Gets the set back. He's blocked. That's the big block there. Watch his celebration. Faye hitting deep into the negative percentages. That was his first block. Uh, check that. His third block of this match has yet to record a kill as that one was mistimed on the outside. And Arnitz hits it into the twine. I'll tell you one thing about the portal Faye. If he's not hitting well, he'll find other ways to help the team. Clearly, he's helping the team with his blocking. Uh, I, I think he'll be one of the guys who will help him with serving. And of course, he's a stabilizing passer. Von Tilburg, soft touch jump serve. Here's Arnett's big swing. And that one just caught the end line. And that's going to be overruled. The referee overrules a good, good overrule by Ray May. I think, I think we'll see that. Come up and catch a replay of it. Yeah, Ryan Good Scudder. Overall. Ryan Scudder, the line judge with the official and initial in call, but the high official Ray Mink with the overrule. It is now nine seven seven. Here's Smith, the touch shot, and it falls down on the Hawaii side of the net. I tell you what, the initial protest after that in call by the line judge, it was classic. <laughs> yeah. As he had six Rainbow Warriors, palms pointed upward, all screaming at the top of their lungs. And wow, a wall put up by Arnitz and Martin against Stein von Zilber. It's set a little low, a little tight. Not much room for Van Tilburg to hit high and over the block. He was just, I really think he needs that high ball. He does much better. Megan Smith. First touch by Zarkovich. They go backside to Von Tilburg. Great dig. Almost shouldered in the air by Gillette, but miscommunication, a mishandle on the second touch. And Hawaii gets the point after the violation. Like Ray Mink is going to call over both floor captains and talk to him about apparently some jawing that's going on. It's Hawaii, you see it. Hey, it is, it is. I mean, that's Those almost territory. That's almost it? inevitable. There's Kupono Fay. Gillette passes it straight up in the air, so Fisher sets up Arnitz. The save from his knees by Von Tilburg. Fay is dug up by Gillette. Outside, it's Ma'a, low set. That's dug up by Von Tilburg. Franciscovic, out to Siki. Great dig by Davis Gillette in the middle of that play. But Hawaii getting the last say. Siki just rips that for his fifth kill of the night. Tops in the MPSF, fourth nationally in kills per set is Siki Zarkovic. Arnett's not too bad himself. 3.3 kills per set tops on the team, able to squeeze it through that Hawaii block. And now we got something going here in this battle, what appears to be two top five Titans going at it in the second set. Arnett's with the ace, and we're not at 11. What a weapon. I asked Charlie Wade earlier in the week, are you going to go to four-man passing pattern? If UCLA starts lighting it up from behind the service line, 
Right now, it looks like they're sticking with three passers. Sometimes tough to do against a team that's serving as hard as UCLA does. Just the third service ace of the season for Arnitz, and then he blasts the ensuing serve into the cheerleader section. So we've, we've seen Siki get ace twice tonight. Very unusual for him. He's normally a rock solid passer. So Ian McKellar will serve here for Hawaii. 12 serving 11. Attacks Arnitz. Smith goes outside. The swing by Fisher. Was there a touch? Yes, there was. And it's a point for UCLA, and we're tied again. Already the seventh tie of this second set. Well, Fisher did a nice job with the set. There was a little tight, and the block was set up on him. He just looked to the high hands and got a pinky. Here's Zarkovich. Oh, that's dug up by the pectoral muscle of Oliver Martin, but it finds its way out of play. And away it gets the point. Hey, you use whatever you can, right, to try to keep the rallies alive. Whatever it takes. Go Stivers! Go Stivers! Get more Stivers! Go! Some Siki fans here at the Stan Sheriff Center. 13 serving, 12, it's an ace from Jennings Franciscovich. A long overdue ace for Hoy. You thought, Chris, because of the fact that this was the toughest test for Hawaii yet this season against a system as unique as UCLA's, that maybe it would take a little time for Hawaii to get adjusted in this match. That seems to have been the case. They're at least bringing some more intensity and focus here in this second set as Micah Maha puts it down for UCLA. Exactly. And UCLA actually went with a four-man passing pattern there out of respect for Jennings, Jennings for the Mistress. Uh, serve and the ace that he got. The Gov in the house. There's Hendrick Mole. Oh, that went through several Bruins players. They were almost waving at it, and at the last second, pulling off of it was Arnitz. Nobody touched it as it sailed long. Arnitz tried to touch it. He tries to get in the way and dig it. And they watch him get out of the way in the last second. He moved his arm. Ma -a and a 69 miles an hour past the diving Kobe Kanetake and all of a sudden UCLA in front. Timeout on the floor. Welcome back, let's check out the first Hawaiian Bank top three MPSF individual digs. Kobe Kanetake coming into this match. Tops among MPSF defensive players in digs per set. You see the average 3.07. In this match though so far, Chris, just a single dig for Kobe Kanetake. Very unusual, I don't think it'll last. Pass by Faye. And another powerful serve from Micah Ma'a and Stein von Tilburg tooling the block. He may not bring the thunder each and every time, but he is so skilled when it comes to the finesse shots. He really is. Five kills now to Siki Zarkovich's six kill. And to the net it goes from Siki. UCLA back in front. Zarkovich, 12th in the nation in kill percentage. And when you think about that, that's pretty absurd for a guy who is not a middle hitter. Exactly. The middle is usually dominate that category. And that one sent long by Michael Fisher. So they trade service errors. We're tied again at 16. Already the 10th time that we've been knotted up here in this second set. And Joe Worsley on. by Fisher. Ma'a goes outside. Arnitz, the dink, diving save, Franciscovich. So Worsley, another setter on the floor, sets it to Faye, but he's dug up by Gillette, and then a mishandle on the second touch by Fisher. And it's a point for Hawaii. What a dig by Gillette with his hands of a well-driven ball by Capono Faye. And Capono picks up his first kill of the night. John Sprawl doesn't like what he's seeing here as Hawaii surges in front. We got a thrill in second set. Welcome back. If you need tickets to an upcoming UH contest, visit hawaiiathletics.com, call 944-BOWS, or visit the Stan Sheriff Center box office. Three easy ways to get your seats for exciting UH sports action. We've got a pretty nice looking crowd here on this Friday evening. 
competing with the Punahou Carnival. I had my fill on Malasadas prior to the match. What about you, Chris? <laughs> uh, no, I think I got some <laughs> avocados. <laughs> the health nut that you are. The touch shot there by Stahl. Hawaii keeps it alive. Here's Faye by the double block. Right there was Gillette. The dig on the button. Fisher from the back row. One hand saved to the net by Siki. And then the miss to an open floor by Arnitz. And it's a point for Hawaii. And Arnitz beside himself after missing that opportunity. Again, Davis Gillette, though, came up with a dig to keep that rally alive. Arnitz is going, how could I have missed that? 3-0 run for Hawaii and Joe Worsley at the service line trying to keep it going into the twine. It goes. Worsley is kind of kind of locked down that serving specialist category right now. You know, that was just... He's been very clutch at the end of games, and now he, they try to put him in the middle of this game, I think, to try to get something going, and he did. He, he served for a couple points. That was just his third service error of the season. McKellar, the southpaw, banging it off the high hands and down. Something that John Spraw, head coach for UCLA, said there is just very little getting used to seeing a left-handed middle on the opposite exactly. side of the net. Exactly, and McKellar at 6-7 going up against... The 6-10, Oliver Martin. Served by Von Tilburg. Ma'a goes middle to Martin. Dug up by Siki. Second touch. Kanetake and Zarkovic sends it across. Smith goes delayed. That's Fisher dug up by Kanetake. Franciscovic backside to Stein. Off the block. Ma'a the save. Bump set to Arnitz off the fingertips. Kept alive by Faye. Good rally here. Siki from the back row. Couldn't get a good swing on it. Smith on the second touch. It's called for a net violation. And a point for the Rainbow Warriors. Timeout UCLA. Yeah, during that rally, Watch this play here by Micah Ma. He grabs this ball. Looks like he held on to it a little bit too long. And this crowd of about 5,000 who know their volleyball all were in protest despite Micah Ma's local boy. But all's well that ends well from the crowd standpoint. Hawaii still gets the point. They're up three. Let's send it over to Ryan. Thanks, Kano. Well, we're seeing a combination of both tactical and emotional coaching from the Hawaii sideline. Head coach Charlie Wade really spending time talking to the team about their platform and their serve-receive reception. He's trying to get them to move their feet instead of their platforms, thus giving them a bigger base. Milan Zarkovic, on the other hand, all emotion, going as far as to encouraging the cheerleaders to join in with the cheers. He's definitely trying to get this crowd and this team back into this game. Back to you guys. Thanks a lot, Ryan. Hawaii statistically, it has been stark contrast here in the second set compared to the first, hitting 250. In the first set, Hawaii hit negative 0-5-0. And the Bruins hitting 083 in the second set. In stark contrast to their 250. So an opportunity here for the Rainbow Warriors to draw even. It seems as though if there was any hesitancy or reservation or lack of motivation for Hawaii in that first set, they have been able to overcome that issue here in the second. But can they finish the deal against this extremely talented UCLA Bruins team? UCLA coming off a 13 and 14 campaign last year, finished eighth in the MPSF. Martin dug up by Kanetake to no avail, and UCLA quickly gets the side back. That was a monster mash from Oliver Martin. Good news for Hawaii there was they served the ball in after the timeout. Bad news is Bruins put up a perfect pass and set a guy who's 6'10". Tough to dig that angle. Smith with the serve. Set goes high and away to Faye against a triple block. Net violation again against UCLA. Oliver Martin, I think, into the net there. Again, Davis Gillette just in the eyesight. Here we go, Siki! Of Capone Faye, he's dug in the last three times, twice with his hands and once with his forearms. Amazing digger for a guy who never started on his high school team. Here's Ma from the outside. 
And he's able to rip that one past that Hawaii block and down. Micah Ma'a, the real deal. Four-time state champion in volleyball at Punahou. Also won a state title in hoops and football and was all-state in all three sports. Are you kidding me? And John Spross said he is the best freshman he's ever coached. That's saying a lot. He said part of the reason we decided to run this unique and novel system, this 6-2, where both setters stay on the floor and rotate into the front row as hitters is because Michael Ma'a arrived on campus, was probably our best setter and probably our best outside hitter. <laughs> Crazy. A good problem to have, maybe. Served by Bantle. That was a 58-mile-an-hour effort. Siki against a triple block. Still makes it work. He's got seven kills, hitting up near 400. Siki rising to the occasion against the cream of the crop in this league. Siki Zarkovic, the latest member of the 1,000 Career Kills Club at Hawaii. He reached it in the second match against Grand Canyon a couple weeks back. A 16th Rainbow Warrior to do so. Brett Rosenmeyer into the match to serve for Hawaii and Micah Ma'a unleashing a scream of frustration as he missed that one long. And it's a point for the Rainbow Warriors closing in here in the second. 23 serving 19 and Rosenmeyer, the freshman from Virginia Beach with the serve. A tough one. Outside it's Fisher. Misses wide. Another point for Hawaii. And it's Aloha Ball in the second. Brett Rosenmeyer has come in and just float served a couple that forced the Bruins into a a bad pass, and they really had nowhere to go in that last one except try to grind the ball off the block, and it didn't work. Pass by Gillette. Backside, it's Ma'a. Hits it in. And Kapoto Fay raised his arms and says, that's my old teammate, Micah Ma'a. That wasn't in, it was out. <laughs> Micah's getting a few words in. They're laughing at each other right now. That's Micah laughing with Kapoto Fay. Great friends in their high school days. But big time competitors here tonight. Here's Zarkovich. It's still a Aloha ball for Hawaii. And he puts it down. And the Rainbow Warriors even things up with the top ranked team in the land, outscoring the Bruins 10 4 to close the second. Oh, we got a lot of volleyball left to be played here at the house that Stan built tonight. Welcome back. Let's take a look at the McDonald's match statistics. Chris. I'll tell you what's really surprising is the kill percentage, 163. Hawaii hitting negative most of the first game. Somehow they brought it back, and somehow the Bruins went down from 250 down to 163. So that, that particular stat really surprises me that the Bruins had 12 hitting errors, and that Hawaii only had nine. Blocks about even, digs about even, as you can see. Service aces got to be concerned for Hawaii. Six aces for the Bruins, only two for the Warriors. So based on the personality of the first two sets, what do you make here going forward? Jekyll and Hyde. There's a personality for you. On both sides. Yeah. yeah. Both sides uh, really not putting their best foot forward in each game. Uh, each team sort of took a set off, you might say, hmm. and just did and played, played with a lot of errors and without a lot of perfection. I expect both coaches to have to be demanding perfection here in this third set. I think we'll see some really good volleyball in this third set, led by the Bruins, led by that guy, Mike Maha. Well, we saw Hawaii with the service errors, some ill-timed hitting errors in the first set, self-inflicted wounds, and then we saw the same thing on the UCLA side in set two, and almost on cue, Jennings Franciscovich sends his first service attempt into the net, but it should not be lost on the people watching this match. UCLA, for as talented as this team is, 10-0, number one in the country, they're still a very young squad, not a senior in the bunch, as Hendrick Mole is dug up there by Arnitz. Set goes right side to Smith, blocked back, and roof. Hendrick right next to Stein, putting up that wall for Hawaii, we're tied at one. So it'll be Siki Zarkovich back to serve. A match high, eight kills for him, hit 438 through the first two sets. Pass by Gillette, left side, it's Smith through the block and down, and Charlie Wade using his good hand 
to punch that one away from the bench area. As we mentioned, he's lost the sling here tonight, still has the, the green colored cast. Now, I asked, you know, how difficult is it as far as coaching up when you're basically one-handed? He said, you know what, the coaching part's not too bad. It's in the mornings when I'm putting on deodorant and things like that. That's, that's where it gets tough as the serve goes into the net. Charlie Wade sitting on 99 career wins as head coach for the Rainbow Warriors. This is seventh year, so he's about to hit a milestone. He's hoping that it, it happens here tonight. McKellar with the block, pitter-pattered around on the UCLA side and then sent over. Francisco Mitch, backside, the Stein! Great dig by Fisher. Arnitz off the fingertips, one hand save, Faye. Thumb set on Tilburg, couldn't get a full effort on it. Chance for the Bruins, they go middle to stall. Great dig by Siki. From the back row, through the triple block, and down! That was vintage Siki Zarkovich. Makes the great dig in the back. Asks for the ball back from Franciscovich. He gets it and delivers. Nine kills now for Zarkovich to go along with a handful of digs. Right side set goes to Smith off the block. Right there is Mole to cover. Franciscovich backside again. Von Tilburg high off the block and down. And Hawaii's got it going a little bit here to start the third as Charlie Wade exhibits the one-handed clap in our direction. <laughs> and Henrik Mole's going to get a lot of credit there. He comes up with his second dig in the last two rallies to keep it going and give guys like Steinberg a chance to bury it. Six kills for Stein. He's hitting 176. Here's Smith from the right side. Standing at just six feet tall. He definitely can get off of the floor. Injured his hand mid-season last year. Missed the rest of the season. Just played in 13 matches a year ago. But we mentioned the lineage. And this is a guy who is, by a single assist coming into tonight, the top assist man for UCLA. Had one more assist on the season than Micah Ma'a, but also the team's leader in digs. Three serving for the serve by Saul. Pass, Kanetake, and Faye able to eschew the block. And he puts it down for his second kill of the match. He was hitting negative 600 deep into that second set, Chris. Yeah, this would make a huge difference if he really got going offensively. It would add a whole new dimension to Hawaii's game. Von Tilburg with the serve. Outside, it goes to the freshly inserted Dylan Misery. 6'4 freshman from Holbrook, New York, and he puts a hammering onto that set. Fab 50, 2014, New York State champion out of Sachem High School North, Long Island. He's battling for that outside position. Oh, my goodness. Stein Von Tilburg. Let me see if I got this in Dutch. I believe one of the words for slam is Dietschlan. 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 That was I like a Dietschlan from Von Tilburg. Six serving four, Kupono Fei with the serve. The middle set goes to Martin. And he restores a little order here for UCLA in the third. Oliver Martin has been going away, hitting away hitting angle of approach, all of a sudden shows he's got a little cutback shot there. Impressive. Mystery with the serve, two-hand pass, Kanetake, and there's Franciscovich trying to apply the dump shot on the second touch. Fisher is blocked and roofed. McKellar right next to Franciscovich. McKellar, who entered this match, tops on the team in blocks, logging another one right there. Amazing. UCLA is so deep, they pull Jake Arnitz out here in this third set. He's only the uh, all-MPSF Frost team last year and the reigning yeah. MPSF Player of the Week. And they put in misery. John Spra, as we know, not at all worried about a lack of creativity. He's not scared of trying something new. <laughs> we saw the Bruins getting the side right back. Oliver Martin. Looks like an all good looks like on all good passes when Martin's in the front row, they're gonna set it. Pass by Faye. Tricky serve there. Now Stein going deep corner and in. He has found a rhythm here, Chris. And we're seeing 
Some smashing coming on from Stein. That set a little bit low. He had to sort of scramble after it. And he chased it, got it, got the kill. Charlie Wade saying that's something he wouldn't mind seeing a little bit more of from Stein von Tilburg when he rears back and unleashes the beast, if you will. Jennings Franciscovich sending it out. Now Michael Maha to serve. Franciscovich's fourth service error on the night. That was a 71 mile per hour effort, the first touch by Kanye Taki. Now Faye flying in from the back row, and it just missed wide, despite the protests of Kupono Faye. That was extremely close to that sideline, but a point for UCLA, and we're tied here in the third. The last serve again, I think right around 71 miles per hour. Another one, wow. That one at 69 miles an hour, and that one just smacking up against that far sideline. So Micah Ma'a showing why he is sixth in the nation in aces per set coming into tonight. A team leading 25 aces coming into this match. Pass by Faye, my word. Here's Von Tilburg blocked. Bumped over the net by Faye and then pounded down by Michael Fisher. So Micah Ma'a rotates behind the service line and has completely changed the complexion of this third set. Timeout, Charlie Wade. The block was up for UCLA and they're now up by two. Seven service aces for UCLA through this match so far. Some have been of the soft touch variety. Some have been a little bit more heavy handed. Come Micah from Ma five different players, too. Sure, sure. And Micah Maas, however, I mean, this is a whole nother level. He is bringing it around 70 miles an hour. And Chris, he's not spraying it all over the place. Those are accurate darts that he's firing. And here he is again out of the timeout. The pass by Kanetake, that went up near 71 on the radar gun. Siki Zarkovich, though, able to earn the side and the point back of that timeout for you know, that, you know, that last serve might have been out, but it's coming over so fast that it's hard to get out of the way sometimes, you, and you just can't risk getting aced again, so you take many times an out ball from a guy who's serving it at 70 miles an hour. Ten kills now for Siki. He has hit double digits in every match this season. And here he is to serve. Nine serving ten. Gillette with the first touch. Forced a bad pass. Ma'a goes to Fisher. That's dug up by Siki. So Franciscovic goes backside to Von Tilburg. The block had not fully formed, and Stein took advantage. He's finding a groove here. Come on, Hendrick! Nine kills now for Stein. But we're not at a 10. Another bad pass. Here's Smith from off the net. Goes off the block and out. The block proposed by Von Silberg and Mole. Some good serving by Siki that time. Forced two bad passes. Boy, put up good solid blocks, but the Bruins got the second one. And Jake Arnix continues to sit here. And this third set for UCLA, Fisher with the serve. Pass by Zarkovich. Here's Stein on the backside, and he puts a hurting into that one. Only one blocker up, Dylan Misery, was the only one up. That time they thought the ball was being set to the middle. Here we go now. Stahl got a little bit fooled there. Served by Mole into the net. So Hawaii unable to take advantage. Some of the momentum and sparks being provided by both Zarkovich and Von Tilbury. Henrik Mole's third error of the night. Hawaii's 13th service error. So here's Mitch Stahl. He can bring the heat as well. Led them in aces last year. 12 serving 11. That one hitting 62 MPHs. McKellar, soft touch, diving save, Ma'a. Set goes outside. This is Misery off the block. There is Kanetake. Now Von Tilburg. And that one hit into the antenna. But Charlie Wade's going to argue that it went off of the block into the antenna. And now we're going to have a discussion. And it will be reversed. It will be called a point for Hawaii. Yeah, the blocker hitter right there. You see the block? The blocker hitter right there, number 12. 
This one's the one who hit it. And now, even though Ernie Ho had signaled for Hawaii to get the side and the point, Ray Mink wants to talk things over with Ernie Ho. So the upstairs official wants to talk with the official across the net downstairs. And finally, after a short conference, Hawaii is rewarded justifiably so with the point. Nice to see him have that conference and get the call right. And so we're tied at 12. The sixth time we've been knotted up here in the third set. Von Tilburg to serve, sitting on 11 kills for the evening. Misery dug up by Kane Take, beautifully done. Zarkovich had the soft touch it over, chance now for the Bruins. They go delay middle, and that's Michael Fisher, Hawaii Baptist Academy alum, putting it down, played his club ball for Kuikahi. Even though Hawaii had figured that one out, got three blockers up on Michael, he found a way to squeeze it through, pick up his fifth kick. On a pair of Division II state titles at HBA, two-time Division II State Player of the Year, and Ian McKellar laying the smackdown. What's happening now, Kano, is different players on each team are starting to play bigger roles. Michael Fisher and Oliver Wright for UCLA, and Ian McKellar right now becoming effective out of the middle. We'll see if he gets more sets there as this third game goes on. Faye, the pass by Fisher. Set goes high and away to Ma'a. Oh, and he climbed the ladder on that one. You can see why John Spraw did not know what to do with Mike Ma'a. He's the best setter he's got, and he's the best hitter. What am I going to do? Have him set himself? Five kills for Ma'a to go along with 15 assists and six digs. He fills the stat sheet for sure, but so does this guy, Siki Zarkovich. That's kill number 11 for him, and he is hit in the 500 range, Chris. Amazing. Amazing. He con continues to raise his level of play. 11 kills, hitting, as you said, 500 with a half dozen digs to go along with it. Charlie Wade saying it has not been about Siki Zarkovich's talent as he has played well. That serve missed by McKellar. He said, but he has not been consistently the high-level Siki. We are seeing it tonight. Hawaii trailing by one, though. Welcome back. So UCLA able to run away with the opening set here tonight, 25-18. Hawaii bounces back in the second, taking it 25-20. And we got ourselves a seesaw tug of war type of battle here in the third. 15 14 currently in favor of John Spraw's UCLA team, but Hawaii hitting 526 in this third set. UCLA hitting 368. So we've gone from sort of the trading places of the first two sets where one team had it going and one team was just out of rhythm to now both teams playing at a high level. Exhibited by Stein von Tilburg with his 12th kill right there out of the timeout. Well, it's a real tribute to Hawaii's offense that they've gone from negative 050 in the first set to hitting, as you said, 526. So it's even higher now in this third set. It's actually 550 they're hitting in this third set. It's a race to 25. Ten more points to go, and they will be tough points to get. I guarantee you. Here's Franciscovich. Let's see if he can put some heat on this. He's got one ace, but he's got four errors. Leads the team in errors, so let's see if he can change that around. Got some animated advice from Milan Zarkovic, and Franciscovich hits it into the net. <laughs> 16 serving 15 in this all-important third set. Mike Amato. Wiping the eyes before the serve. That one hit 71.6 on the gun. Zarkovic through the block. Pinballed around on the Bruins side, and they send it over. Franciscovic backside to Siki. Took something off. Pancake save Gillette. Outside, Fisher is blocked back. Bruins keep control. Fisher a second time by the block and down. And UCLA goes up by a deuce. Well, I thought Hawaii hit some pretty good shots, so they're going to go down to the floor. But the Bruins coming up with great saves. One right there by Hagen Smith. The second one was by Micah Ma'a. Ma'a into the net. So Hawaii able to get a freebie there, and they love to get out of the service rotation of Micah Ma'a, no doubt. Oh, yeah. 
Big sigh of relief by the passers. Here's now Siki Zarkovic. One service ace on his stat line here tonight. Pass by Misery. Middle set. Mitch Stahl is denied solo style by Hendrick Mole. Well, here's a rookie middle blocker blocking uh, all, I don't know, the number four, number five kills per set for a hitting percentage guy in the country. Big play for Hendrick Mole. Perhaps a set swinging play. Stahl says block of that. <laughs> Bringing the thunder from that middle position. Wow. What a get back. <laughs> we are seeing these two teams cranking it up. Mike Amato was going to let Stahl get the last word in, I guess, huh? Fisher with the serve. Forces the overpass. Stahl blocked by Mole. Bruins keep it going. Miles Stahl again, blocked by Mole, kept alive by Faye. Backside, here's Von Tilburg. Dug up by Fisher. Ma goes to Fisher from the back row. One hand save over the net by Kanetake. Stahl in the middle, dug up by Kobe. Here's Faye from off the net, blocked and roofed. Getting most of that one was Dylan Misery, yet another freshman on this UCLA team. Get your money's worth on that rally. Colby Kanatake, there's the end of the play right there, but Colby Kanatake owned the rest of the rally. Colby Kanatake now with five digs, but a couple of dandies on that last sequence. It is 1917 UCLA on top of the Rainbow Warriors here in this all important third set. But this is a third set, Chris, that, as we've mentioned, is being played in an extremely high level. One of those guys playing at a high level, Stein von Tilburg, 12 kills. He's hitting 360. Yes, he's just a freshman, but he is shining bright here under the very bright Friday nights. Uh, Friday night lights against the top ranked team in the country. Let's send it over to Ryan Calais, Suji. Ryan. Hey, thanks, Kano. Well, head coach Charlie Wade talking to his hitters now, saying that they need to recognize when they have a three blockers up. Talking especially to Capono Faye, trying to get him to hit the high hand. Charlie Wade also talking about their serving game, noticing Hawaii having three of their jump servers now jump float because of the serving difficulties that Hawaii is having. He's saying we can't just jump float it to them. We have to move the float serve around and get UCLA moving in their serve receive, especially on the float serve. Back to you guys. Thanks a lot, Ryan. Actually, I've seen a lot of times where the, the guy's going, having a tough night jump serving, goes to a jump float, and is more effective. It goes in more often, but sometimes the, the receivers have a tougher time on the high jump floats up around their chest than they do with the jump serve. We've seen some fun back and forth sequences, some long rallies. It's sort of been a theme of this Charlie Wade coach squad the last couple of seasons, right? The, the misconception that by contrast to the women's collegiate game, the men's game is just all side out, side out, not a lot of rallies. Things are changing in this game, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. Defense is becoming key. Fisher with the serve. There's the pass by Zarkovich. Here's Von Tilburg. Winds up, uncoils, and unleashes. I love the high set by Franciscovich there. Not going the fast, red, low, behind shot uh, set, but instead going to hide to Van Silver, giving him a chance to get under the ball. His legs under, use that long reach that he has to go over just about any block. 13th kill for Stein, hitting up near 400, served by Worsley. Forces an overpass. Faye couldn't put it down. Worsley goes opposite side, Von Tilburg against a triple block. Kept alive by Franciscovich. Stein a second time through the block and down. And we're tied at 19. Tied up. Worsley with a great set there, right there. Push the ball all the way across. Right in the wheelhouse of Stein and Tilburg. Tied for the 11th time in this third set. Stein von Tilburg with 14 kills. 
to go along with five digs and a block. He has certainly put it back to full throttle here tonight against UCLA after a couple of single-digit kill performances in a pair of matches against UC San Diego last week. Yeah, and I think he wasn't very proud of that, of his performances. Uh, I, I think he wants to be consistent night in, night out, not just play great for the big teams. And certainly he's proven that tonight. He's come back strong with good in practice this week. Clearly, he and Seeker providing a one-two punch that's very difficult to defend. It was kind of what Charlie Wade talked about with regard to Seeky Zarkovich, saying, you know, you got to bring it every single night. The Saturday Seeky has to be the same as the Wednesday Seeky. Same thing for Stein von Tilburg. Seeky has been able to figure it out here in his senior year, and Charlie waiting for Stein to hopefully do that, but we are seeing it certainly in full effect against UCLA. Let's send it over to Ryan. Well, on the UCLA sideline, head coach John Sprouse said one of the things that he was worried about was this crowd getting involved. Right now, he's trying to get his team to refocus and really stick to the game plan and not let this crowd become a factor. Also during that timeout, volunteer coach Spencer McLaughlin taking time to talk to Michael Ma'a about his shot selection. Back to you guys. All right, we take a look at some MPSF scores. Stanford falling to Long Beach State in four. And UCSB falling in three straight to BYU. How about a score from just last night? Cal Baptist able to, or just a couple nights ago, Cal Baptist able to upend UC Irvine at Irvine. As Misery is blocked and kept alive. Zarkovich blocked and roof. That was a surprising score with Cal Baptist being Irvine the other night. Shocking. They never beat him in the history of the program, so that was quite something. And they did it at Ben Event Center in Irvine. So here is Mitch Stahl. With the serve, the pass by Zarkovich, right side, and Von Tilburg just keeps the train rolling. Well, what a what a run he had through the front row there on that right side, getting kill after kill, up to 15 now. Now he goes to the back row, a little tougher to attack out of that D ball on the back right spot. But we'll see if he can continue his hot streak. Tied at 20, tied for the 12th time in this third set. Questionable first touch. The dig on Misery swing there by Zarkovic. Here's Faye on the high outside set. Off of the dig attempt of Gillette and down. And that must have felt good for Cupono Faye, who was hitting negative 231 prior to that fireball. His biggest kill of the night, to be sure. He brought lots of heat. Davis Gillette, one of the few times he hasn't dug Cupono Faye. On Tilburg with the serve, 21, serving 20. Middle set, that's Martin blocked back. Outside it goes, Misery blocked back. Misery a second time. And Zarkovich couldn't save it. It would have sailed long, but I think Zarkovich may have thought it was touched up front by that block. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he definitely thought it was touched, and it was touched up front. Charlie Wade shaking his head saying, okay, I'm gonna get four more points here. John Sproul thinking the same thing. And he's got Jackson Bantle. Back there to serve. Pass by Faye, tight to the net. Diving save, cut it, top in to keep the rally alive. But Tilburg. That's dug up by Bantle. Left side, it's Misery. Off speed hit. That almost caught Hawaii by surprise. An excuse me kill for Dylan Misery. How about Connie Taki right here? Nobody's going to get that ball except for Colby Kanataki. He just finds a way to catch those balls coming off the block like nobody else. He is. And, nice. I'm, and I'm impressed with Davis Gillette as well. He's had a phenomenal night. Sure. The two liberos really putting on a show, to be sure. Gillette with nine digs on the night. Kanataki with five. Kanataki at times, I mean, he is a wizard. At the libero really, position. He really is. Here's Jackson Battle, the lefty, who was libero last year, lost the job to Gillette this year. Now he's a serving specialist. The very high toss. Great serve. Zarkovich, the first touch. Here's Faye. Triple block up. The dink sniffed out by Banel. 
And Ma'a missed on the second touch. Hawaii was celebrating, and Von Tilburg had to dive to keep the rally alive. Outside of goals, Misery misses wide. And a minor BB. Perhaps even a major bullet at this juncture of this third set. Dodged by Hawaii as they were celebrating when Ma's second touch dump attempt didn't go over, but it was bumped over, and so the play was still alive. Alert play by both sides. You slay for bumping that third ball over in Hawaii for not stopping the play. 22 all. Faye into the twine. Is misery. 23 serving 22. Franciscovic outside. Zarkovic roll shot. Diving save Gillette. Right side. It's Ma'a through the block. Punched up in the air by Kanetake. Faye with the second touch. Freebie coming for the Bruins. Ma'a tried to take a first touch swing at it and hit it long. What do you make of that, Chris? That's classic like a bar. He's so creative. He's so alert. Nobody thinks of, of taking a ball that's bumped over the net and all of a sudden attacking it. Normally you take those, you pass it up and run a play, but Mike Amal will come up with things that you just don't even consider. That one went out, but most of the time I'll bet you that ball goes in for him. The daring nature of a freshman, perhaps. And there's the swing by Franciscovich. It's a point for Hawaii, and now it'll be an argument on the UCLA side. They're going to argue that it was an interference because Smith is saying that he was attempting to set the ball. Either way you look at it, it's a kill for Jennings. It's a point for Hawaii. UCLA calls a timeout. There's the, there was the 50-50 ball. Henrik Moll had as much right to it when it's on top of the net as does Hagen Smith. So Hawaii on the doorstep of taking this all-important third set and thus taking a huge advantage en route to trying to pull off the upset against number one UCLA. Let's take another look here, Chris. Here's where the argument comes up. Hagen Smith goes up to set, but that ball was touched by Henrik Mole, and Smith is saying, hey, that's illegal. The, the, the reality is, is that Ray Mink up top, the referee, says that the ball is 50-50 once it breaks the top of the net, that line, that vertical plane, it's as much Hawaii's as it is UCLA's. And you agree with that assessment on that particular instance? Yes, it was, a, it, was a, it was the correct call. What a third set this has been. The largest lead for either team, two points. I'll tell you, John Sprock called a timeout just at the right moment because Hawaii's Franciscovic and Sarkovic were both exhorting the crowd to stand up, to get crazy, to go wild. And this place was in a frenzy when Sprout said, OK, time out. Now they've all quieted down. Let's see if they can reach that frenzy point again for Hawaii's game point. At all surprised by this effort by Hawaii, particularly following that first set. Now, I'm not surprised by, by, by either team in their effort. Both sides have upped their game, to say the least. Hawaii with a chance to wrap up this third set. It is Aloha ball. Brett Rosenmeyer serving out of the timeout. Gets it in. Set goes backside. Ma'a pumps it long. Was there a touch? No touch. And Hawaii takes the third. The Rainbow Warriors end set three on a 3 0 the top ranked team in the land. Welcome back to the Stan Sheriff Center. So UCLA being backed up to the ropes here, Chris, down two sets to one against Hawaii. A battle between the fifth ranked team in the country in the Rainbow Warriors and the number one and yet unblemished team in the country in UCLA. Yeah, you know, what I found interesting is that 
UCLA being perfect so far this year, 10 and 0, showed some imperfections with their, especially with their hitting errors. And uh, it really surprised me that they they showed those flaws. They're normally a ton of, ton of a team that doesn't make that many errors. But again, UCLA, like any other team in the league, is a work in progress. They've only played um, you know, six matches. They got 16 more matches to play in the league. So it's a long season. Lots of time to go. The hitting percentage numbers, that's been one of the more striking statistics for Hawaii, hitting negative 0.50 in the first set. Then they go for 348 in set two, 371 in the third, and now in the overall hitting percentage, they're actually out hitting UCLA by about 100 percentage points. Shocking. Shocking. I'm going to give the, the Warriors a lot of credit for being resilient and persevering when they were down. I mean, I'm sure they were embarrassed to hit negative in the first set. Six kills, seven errors, and they are just getting clocked by UCLA. To come back the next two sets and play as well as they did, got to give them a lot of credit. If you're just joining us, UCLA able to lay its authority on the Rainbow Warriors in the opening set, 25-18. But Hawaii bouncing back in the second, 25-20. They take the third of set that saw no lead greater than two points for either side. They take it 25-23. As you see, the officials are working on that opposite side antenna. Talk about uh, talk about perseverance. Let's talk about the Bruins for a second. They were down 0-2 to Long Beach State a couple weeks ago and came back to win in five. So they too have perseverance. They have stick to itiveness. They have resilience. So I expect that the Bruins will come back strong. Look at Sprague just smiling there, trying to get his players to relax. When a coach gets tense, the players will get tense. When a coach smiles like that, I think the players will relax and they'll play better. But an upset bid here. Now in front of Charlie Wade and his team on this Friday night between Hawaii and UCLA. Yet another great one between these two programs and just some of the things on the line. UCLA 10-0 start, best since 1998. On the other side, Hawaii trying to protect and in fact continue a 16-match home win streak to go along with a five-match overall win streak. Charlie Wade one victory away from reaching 100, the century mark in his Hawaii head coaching career. So just a few of the subplots here at hand as we get ready for set number four. And the antennas on both sides appear to be all good, ready to go. And the overall theme to those subplots, it's tough to win in the Stan Sheriff Center. You better bring your A game. There's a great crowd that's appreciative of great volleyball on both sides of that. But when push comes to shove, they'll, they'll be yelling, go Bows, when the going gets tough. Hawaii 8 and 1 overall, 3 and 1 in the MPSF. UCLA 10 and 0, 6 and 0 in league. You mentioned the 16 match home win streak for the Rainbow Warriors. The program record is 19. That was back in the 87 to 89 sort of range in Plum Gym as Siki Zarkovich puts it down from the outside and Hawaii starting things off in the fourth the way they left it in the third. Siki with 12 kills now, hitting over 380, continuing his hot ways. Set outside, it's Smith. Oh, One of the Hagen smaller Smith. players on the floor. Oh, he's, the smallest, he's the smallest outside attacker on the floor. He just skied and then unleashed, ripped that ball down the line. Great shot. At eight kills, hit 889 in UCLA's last match versus CISO. One serving one, and it's Fisher. Middle set, Mole off the block. Ma keeps it alive. So Smith goes outside. This is Misery, and that one tight rope walked the top of the tape and found its way out of play. Well, Misery had an open court there, should have converted. One on one, hitter should win that battle. One block to the one hitter, oh, about 95% of the time. So Zarkovich with the serve, forces a pass tight to the net, but the one-handed setup by Micah Ma'a to Mitch Stahl was remarkable and we're tied again. Wow, what an acrobatic play by Micah Ma'a. He 
goes up. The ball's really over. It looks like it's going to open the net. He knows where his middle attacker is, so he just flicks it back to him. Great play. Stall with the serve. Pass by Zarkovic. High and away it goes to Faye. That's a beautiful dig by Mitch Stahl, the middle blocker. Chance now for Hawaii. The setup by Von Tilburg had a little stuttering start to that one. Dug up by Ma. Misery from off the net against a triple block kept alive by Fisher. Ma goes to Misery a second time. And he's able to put an end to that sequence. UCLA up 3-2. And again, one of the bold moves by John Spraw occurring in that last set, Chris, where he pulls Jake Arnitz out of the match and puts Dylan Misery, the freshman, in there, and he's rolled with that move here for some time now. Zarkovic with the pass. Middle set, Mole dug up. A couple of digs here by Stahl. Misery through the block and down. Three-point run by the Bruins right now. Charlie Wade cannot afford to let the Bruins get too far ahead in this fourth set. It's a natural thing for the team who won the third set to let down a little bit, but they cannot let the fourth set get away from them. How about a couple of digs on the last couple of sequences by Mitch Stoll? With the jump serve, the pass by Konitake. Franciskovic has to set high and away to Faye against the triple block. There's Stoll again. Fisher with the second touch. Chance here for Hawaii. Backside, Von Tilburg through the block and down. When in doubt, go to your kill leader. 16 kills now for Von Tilburg. Hendrick Moll will serve. The junior from San Norway. Most of a bad pass. Chance well, for Hawaii here, right here. The transition play. And sniffed out. Here's Zarkovic from the back row. And he's able to dominate what was a solo block attempt by Hagen Smith. Not much Smith could do there. And we're tied again at four. Well, started with a bad pass. Led this free ball play. Siki Zarkovic. All again to serve. That one almost hit his buddy Ian McKellar in the back of the dome. Those little beach roll serving shot there. Of course, Moll famous for his, his uh, the stellar play on the beach, played for Norway's national team on the beach. Both his parents were beach volleyball players. Siki Zarkovic finds the deep corner. He is on some kind of tear here in 2016. It really is. Here he's hitting the Vic out of the back row. Finds the floor again. I think it's kill number 12. Oh. Tilburg with the serve. Questionable first touch again. Ma'a dug up by Stein. Here's Faye. Big swing. Tools the block. Point Hawaii. And they jump in front. So this is now becoming something that this Hawaii team can smell. As Von Tilburg just sends it over the net. Misery from the opposite side. A solo roof. Kupono Fei. Twice tonight, Kupono Fei has pulled off that kind of a block. It energizes the Hawaii effort. And with every Hawaii point, they're now up two. This becomes more and more possible and maybe even realistic. But alas, Stein von Tilburg sends it into the net for another service error. That is number 18 for Hawaii. You notice the last two serves have been into the net. I think Hawaii's intentionally trying to serve the ball short to the, to the Bruin passer. Fay, the big lined up and the big smash. Eyeball to eyeball against his old teammate. It was buff and blue versus buff and blue there. They were singled out on that outside pin, and that round was at least won by Kupono Fe. Five kills for him. Eight serving six.
Beautiful pass by Gillette. Middle set Martin dug up by Kane Take, tight to the net. Bruins now in control. It's Martin in the middle, and he finds where no Rainbow Warriors are. Oliver Martin should have been a quiet presence up front. The five kills, no errors. He just seems to get the job done every time. A few moments being taken to wipe some perspiration off of the Terraflex. Bodies flying here on this Stan Sheriff Center floor. McKellar! First time we've seen it tonight. McKellar, the lefty middle, hitting a ball that's set behind the center, not in front, but behind UCLA, not ready for it. That's something that John Spraw said is just so difficult for any front row blocker because it goes counterintuitive to what your instincts are, what your reflex is after all those years of volleyball as Mitch Stahl puts an absolute hurting into that set. Well, even though Hawaii was in a commit block there, but they, on a good pass, both blockers are gonna go up and take away Stahl's shot. He still finds a way to cut the ball back and put it down. Eight serving nine, Ma'a. That one hitting 66 on the radar gun. Von Tilburg dug up by Ma'a. So Smith goes middle, Stahl blocked in roof by Hendrick Moll, all by himself. Okay, Moll got the block. Stahl got the air, watching a good pass for Stahl to get the next set. There's Fisher from off the net, dug up by Faye. Kanetake, bump set, Tasiki measures it up, blocked. Great diving second touch by Stein and a free ball coming for UCLA. Ma'a goes outside to Smith. Oh my goodness. What a block solo by the Flying Dutchman. And that one pumped. A wave of electricity through the Stan Sheriff Center. Hawaii by three, its largest lead in this fourth set. Christian Hessenauer comes in. He was their opposite last year. He comes in to play for, Sin for uh, Hagen Smith right now. But another outserve for Hawaii. That has stymied their momentum on more than just a couple of occasions here tonight. But they still lead by two. It is Michael Fisher back to serve. There's a look at Christian Hessenauer. Started 22 matches last year. Has not started a single match this season as Fisher misses wide. Cat and mouse game up until the 20s. That's what's really going to make a difference. I think these two teams will play back and forth here up to 20. Zarkovich, the pass by Fisher. Ma'a goes backside. And Hessenauer is denied access by Faye. Third time tonight, Kipola Faye's come up with a huge one-on-one -on -one black solo. Kupono with the solo. Hawaii up four, 13-9. Welcome back. Let's check out how it works. Presented by Central Pacific Bank. Chris. This is how it works. You've got a left-handed middle blocker. Left-handed middle blocker is not coming in front. No blockers over there to the left. Instead, here comes McKellar from behind the center, and he gets the kill. The lefty, easy for him to hit that ball. Brown blocker is late. We'll see if Hawaii uses that play a little more often. Hawaii up four in the fourth, up two sets to one. And an upset bid here against number one UCLA. A little miscommunication there. Chance for Hawaii. Stein off the block. One hand diving saves Zarkovich. Von Tilburg a second time. Dug up back over the net by Fisher. Hawaii with the advantage. Stein a third time. Blocked and roofed. And Stoll wasn't giving up. One inch on three swings by Stein von Tilburg. Now look at the percentages. That first set for Hawaii, hitting negative 0.50 since hitting 3.84, and prior to that last play, Hawaii was hitting 4.67 here in the fourth. A little surprised that Franciscovich went to 
Von Silberg three times in a row. The sets got lower and lower, and Von Silberg had less of a run-up to try to attack that Bruin block or even go over the Bruin block. Yeah, that third time, Mitch Stahl was waiting and very capable, but then he serves it into the net. And it will be Hendrik Moll to serve. See if he goes to his jump float. He hasn't had much success with the jump serve. 14 serving 10. Pass by Misery. Set on the delay. And that's dug up after the swing by Fisher. Here's Von Tilburg over a triple block. See what happens when he gets a, a high set. When he gets the high set, he gets a good run up. It's over blocks. Hawaii first to 15 in the fourth. Their largest lead of this fourth set and closing in on a potential upset against the Bruins. There was a time in set two where Kupono Fe was hitting negative 600, but Chris, he's turned it around, and he's done it through some of the momentum that he's created with now five total blocks. He has five kills. He's flatlining it in terms of percentage, but he has certainly turned his match around. He really has. If I'm, if I'm Jennings Franciscovich, I think I'm going to feed him some more, show confidence in him again, let him take some good swings from that left side. 15 serving 10, UCLA, number one in the land, unbeaten, 10 and 0, best start since 1998. But Hawaii, after having bounced back from an opening set loss in which UCLA won running away 25-18, Rainbow Warriors turning it around. Set two, they win 25-20, set three, 25-23. And here we are, Rainbow Warriors by five in the fourth. And look, look who's in for UCLA now. Jake Arnitz reinserted into the lineup. You said during the break, five-point lead even at this stage of this set, even at this stage of this match, not safe against this very potent UCLA Bruins no, no. team. You got a brand new lineup in now. So they got Nisri in, they got Hessenauer in, Hagen Smith is on the bench. And a discussion between Ernie Ho and John Spraw about the rotation and the substitutions. Looks like they must be. I wonder if Arnitz went in and didn't and didn't check in. Well, it looks like they've sorted all of that business out. And now Hendrik Mole, who's been waiting a long time between serves here, out of the timeout, getting ready to. Attempt to slap it back into play. If you're Hawaii, you are now on the precipice of something pretty special tonight. How do you maintain focus here, Chris? You know, it's really tough. What I would do is I'd throw the ball to the ball boy or ball girl, let them have it, and start your routine all over again as if you were receiving the ball for the first time. Now, it looks like he just did that, and he got the ball back. But I wouldn't ask for the ball back until it's time for the, the official to get things going again and then start his routine. Let's see if we can clue into exactly what's happening here. Ryan, what's up? Well, there was a mistake on the scoreboard. Uh, the person in charge of keeping track of the rotations accidentally had the wrong player inserted in the matchup. They have it corrected and we're set to go. Back to you. And here we are, Hendrik Mole serves it in. Arnett's a little late to react on that one. Set goes outside to Misery against a triple block. And it doesn't matter. Dylan Misery. Another impressive freshman on this very young UCLA team. Wow, what a swing by Misery. Picks up his fifth kill. He's got three errors, and I'll tell you, he could really bring the heat as he did there against a three-man block. Here's Hagen Smith back into the game for Hessenau. He's actually the leading hitter for UCLA with seven kills, nobody in double digits. Here's Faye, dug up by Smith. So Gillette bump sets Ma'a. That's dug up by Franciscovic. Siki has to take on the setting responsibilities. To Stein! Misses wide. Was there a touch? No, there was not. Point UCLA, and it is 12, serving 15. So quickly that five-point lead can get erased. Megan Smith to serve. Pass by Faye. An overpass placed down oh so gently by Michael Ma'a. And just like that, a 3-0 run by the Bruins. 
And it is a two-point differential. Charlie Wade signals for a timeout. You called it in the last break, Chris. Five points with this UCLA team. It ain't much. Yeah, all it takes is a couple of mental errors. And the Bruins with a couple of good serves by Hagen Smith. I like the way he served his jump float. Put it in tough, hard. Had a nice, had a nice little jump on it. As you can tell, Capone Fay had trouble passing that last little jump float. But it is part of the challenge, right? Not only the character check when you are down, but the character check when you are up to be able to close out matches, especially ones of this variety. Dylan Misery has come in, and he has affected things for UCLA. Well, he's bringing a lot of misery on Hawaii's defense and against their block. The shots like that, hey, that's a very difficult shot to hit back. Three blockers up, very tough. I love how you did that, by the way. Very nice. A little misery. That's why you're that's why you're a giant in the business, my friend. No, no, no. Let's send it over to Ryan. Well, hey, Coach Sean Spraw saying that telling his team for the next 10 points or so, I don't care what happens, we just need to pour 100% energy into these final moments. He's really trying to get his team to get that emotion back, not necessarily focusing much on tactics, but more relying on the emotion of the players. Back to you guys. Thanks a lot, Ryan. A much needed burst out of the Previous timeout, UCLA on a little 3-0 run here. It was 15 serving 10 just moments ago, and now it is 13 serving 15, and things getting a little bit tighter on the Hawaii side. They are up two sets to one. This thing goes to a fifth. All bets are off, all statistics tossed out the window. Hagen Smith. Part of that great Smith lineage with the serve. Here's Faye, knuckles it over, saved by Smith. Back row set to Arn, it's blocked by McKellar. Left side, it's Misery off the fingertips of the block, covered by Kanetake. Franciscovich delayed the Siki, touch shot saved by Gillette. Here's Misery again, winds up, uncorks it, saved by Kanetake. Right side, here's Stein, through the block and down! 18 kills for Stein von Tilburg. Again, Stein does so much better with the high set. That time he got, got his legs under him, got a nice approach, and a, and a, and a perfect set from Jennings, Francisco. And got a number of touches on those blocks, on those swings by Misery on the outside. Hawaii by three. Here is Ma'a. Wow. And quiets the crowd in a hurry. Seven kills for Micah Ma'a. Nice set by Smith, too. He had only one blocker up. Give a lot of that credit to the setter who faked out Hawaii's block. Stein. That was a hammer. Shall we bust it out again? Dutch for slam. There you, go. there you go. Stein, another Dishlan. And Hawaii up three. Right side, Ma'a through the block. <laughs> oh, my word. He puts a pounding on it. UCLA's intensity seems to be rising by each point. Here comes serving specialist Jackson Banto into the game. Ma'a now with eight kills, hitting 294. He is the team leader in kills. Also has eight digs to go along with a couple of blocks. Oh, yeah, and his 23 assists as a setter. What you led by Von Tilburg's 19. And Bantel, the long stare down, now bringing it past Kanetake. Franciscovich on the second touch, saved by Misery. On the outside, it's Arnitz. That's sniffed out by Von Tilburg. Here's Siki. Was there a touch? No touch. It misses wide. Point UCLA and the. Previously, five-point advantage for Hawaii is down to one. The crowd looking to be a factor here. Pass by Kanetake, well done. Here's Stein. And Hawaii gets the side and the also important point back. 
Oh, and Stein's got some emotion going. He knows how to get this crowd rocking. Rips it down the line. And there the fist pump and the yell and the jugular vein. <laughs> How about a career-high performance for Stein von Tilburg, Chris? Career-high, 20 kills on 40 swings, hitting 375. And I get the feeling he can hit like 40 more very easily. Played four years with the Dutch youth and junior national teams, coming through in a big way so far for Hawaii. Here's Joe Worsley with the serve. Set goes backside to Ma'a, blocked by Siki. Kept alive by the Bruins. Ma'a a second time. And that time, Siki didn't get up. Not enough, at least, to put on a legitimate blocking effort, and Ma is able to gobble up the kill. What a swing by Ma going over Siki's argument. Team high nine kills for Michael Ma, the Punahou alum. Putting on a show here tonight, but he misses the end line by a mere few inches. And Hawaii back up, too. Let's see, did he miss it? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Franciscovich, the serve. Ma'a, outside. Smith, the dink. Missed wide. Point Hawaii, and they're up three. What a turn of events. What could have very well been a service ace for Michael Ma'a. What very well should have been a service ace for Michael Ma'a. Instead, a point for Hawaii, followed by another hitting error for UCLA, and the Rainbow Warriors up three, Chris. Oh, the ebbs and flows. You know, it could have been 18 off very easily before that last point if Michael Ma's you know, serve had been called in. It would have been 18 all. We'd have an entirely different scenario. Instead, with this point per, you know, in the rally score, you get a point on every play. All of a sudden, now Hawaii's got a three-point lead. And everything's changed for the Bruins. Well, Stein von Tilburg, a career high established here against the number one team in the land, and particularly in the last couple of sets, he has turned it on. These are his highlights here in the fourth, Chris. He's got a match high 20 put downs to go along with eight digs and a couple of blocks. Now, he has been the go to guy tonight for sure. And uh, he's been, you know, he's been so effective, especially in his runs through the front row where he's hitting out of the front row. When he hits out of the back, he's not as effective. But Jennings Franciscovich, unafraid to set him in the back row as well. Hence, he's got those 40 swings. So Hawaii now very much on the precipice of closing this thing out, 20 to 17. But this is a prideful UCLA Bruins team that has not experienced losing yet this year. And so you know they are ready to put up a fight. How does Hawaii get this done here over the last five points, Chris? Well, these are the toughest five points to get, Kano, in the entire match. Now we're in the set, the entire match. And the way they do it, I think, is just to play steady volleyball, keep this serve in, force the Bruins to have to score off the side out, because the Bruins are only sliding out. Yeah. They're actually, they're at 67% for the night. Only 57% in this particular set. Well, Franciscovich wrapping up a little gift there for UCLA. Is now 18 serving 20. Here's Arnix. Pass by Zarkovich. Set outside. Stein from the outside position. Block kept alive by Mole. Backside. It goes to Siki. Roll shot. Diving save Gillette. Smith pumps it long. Was there a touch? No touch, and a point for the Rainbow Warriors. They're within four of the upset. Charlie Wade looking on intently. This crowd waiting to erupt. Pass by Gillette. One hand set to stall. Kept alive by Faye. Outside, here's Stein. Triple block up, and he curls it in. Stein by Tilburg hit both lines in the deep corner. That's how you get the last five points. Triple block up. Stein says, so what? And the Rainbow Warriors are up four. Zarkovich to serve. 
Good pass, Arnitz. Arnitz out of the back row. Great diving play by Kanetake. Here's seeking through the block and down. Oh, what a set from Fay. Right on the money. For Shiki, even though he had a big block up there, he found the way. 23 serving 18. Hawaii two points away from what would be a monumental victory here in the early going of MPSF play. Outside. Mystery is blocked and loose. Patrick Bull and Steinbach Tuber. And they will rise here at the Stan Sheriff Center. What a block by Moore. Late closing on that block. Aloha ball for the Rainbow Warriors. And Suki delivers the ace. Number one goes down at the Stan Sheriff Center. The Bruins are blemish free. No more as the Rainbow Warriors rally from down one set to none to rip off wins in the last three, 25-20, 25-23, and 25-18, delivering UCLA its first loss of the season, number five, tops number one. Very impressive. As I told you earlier, if I had known at 7.30, after Hawaii got spanked in game number one, they were hit negative. I would have thought, well, it to be a short night for Hawaii. They're going to be out of here. Three Bruins are just too tough. But instead, Hawaii showed some major resilience, some major perseverance. They bounced back. They fought hard. And you've got to give credit to an awful lot of people tonight who came up with big games. And the streaks, I say streaks plural, continue. Hawaii now has won 17 straight matches at home. That's two off of the program record. They've now won six straight matches overall. They improved on what was already their best start since 2005. They improved to 9-1 on the season, 4-1 in the MPSF Conference. UCLA falls for the first time. They're 10-1, 6-1 in the league. We thought UCLA, after that first set, Chris, had made a statement. Hawaii able to make its own statement at the end of the night. And what they also do is they deliver head coach Charlie Wade career victory number 100. Scott Robbs is with the century man, Mr. 100. Scott, take it away. Hey, congratulations, Charlie. That was a terrific win for your team, particularly what happened in that first set. What did you say to your guys after that first set? Well, let's just stay calm. You know, we made 16 errors in the first set. You're not going to beat anybody in this league making that many errors. You know, and, and for us, it was nice. We had probably our worst serving night of the year and still were able to win. Um, just really proud of the guys and my staff, like how much time they put into this. It was a lot of work, uh, you know, to get us ready for the match. So, and I really can't say enough about the crowd. I mean, I was telling the guys after that first set, man, this crowd wants to help us win. Let's give them something to cheer about. And once the crowd got kicked in, we played pretty good. Siki, you want him to play every day like Siki Saturday. Played well again tonight. And how about Stein Von Tilburg? He's going to be a special guy for you. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, Stein was a big time opposite tonight. That was good to see. You know, he was he was a little embarrassed by how he played last week. You know, he kind of took his foot off the accelerator against San Diego, uh, but he came to play tonight. It's good to see. Charlie, tell me what was going through your head on that last play when you guys won it. Well, just look at it going, it ain't over till it's over. You know what I'm saying? I like having Siki at the service line. Uh, you know, it's a long year in the league. It's a nice win against a very good team. Super stoked for our guys. Super stoked for the fans to give them that kind of, you know, it's a reward for them for coming out and supporting us. Uh, and we're back at it tomorrow night. All right, Charlie, one last thing. Your 100th career victory, and it comes against the number one team and UCLA. It doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, I mean, it's, I, I just hope it's not my last. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so... I appreciate it. Thanks. I'm pretty sure it won't. Congratulations. Thank you very much. All right, guys, back over to you. 
Mr. 100, Charlie Way, Bank of Hawaii presents the players of the match and Micah Ma'a, all he has been cracked up to be. It was on full display here tonight, 23 assists, nine kills, which led UCLA a couple of blocks and eight digs. And Stein von Tilburg, the career night, Chris, 21 kills. He hit 381, three blocks and eight digs. So here in the very early aftermath of what is a tremendous victory and a tremendous night for Rainbow Warrior Volleyball, what does this say about this Hawaii team, Chris? I think it says a lot, especially the fact that they, they hit 273 on the night, hold the Bruins to 140. Those hitting, percentage are, hitting, hitting percentages are significant. They show that Hawaii really does have their offense going, especially when Stein's got it going and, <laughs> and Siki's got it going. But also shows they can hold a great team like UCLA to under 150, which is amazing. You hold them a bit. They were 138, I think, on the night. It was unbelievable to play that kind of defense, that kind of blocking. Hats off to Colby Kanataki and others that play great defense in the back row. And, and for the block to get it going the way they did, it was... Uh, it was pretty amazing. The entire game played. Yeah, Hawaii now having won five straight against UCLA. And you know what the best thing about this is? They do it again tomorrow. I know. It'll be even better tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> and we will be here, here on OC Sports. For Chris McLaughlin, I'm Kanoa Leahy. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget about the post-game show. And, of course, round two tomorrow night at the Stan Sheriff Center. Aloha.